Minnesota is getting $2 billion to help expand the state's electrical, electrical grid. Energy groups met with state and local officials in Rochester to explain how this will provide better access to clean and affordable energy. With more, here's ABC6 News reporter Maisie Olson. Now this project has a lot of moving parts, but the number one takeaway that people need to know is that it allows for the public to be able to dictate what areas of southeastern Minnesota need this energy the most. Affordable and sustainable energy is the goal for the state of Minnesota. And with the money to support this massive project, one question still remains. How do we get the generation to the people who need it so your air conditioning can run and you don't have to think about it? The $2 billion investment is only the beginning. The next step is figuring out where in the state more energy power plants are needed. It's also designed to get a lot of public input and make sure that that input is uh, is kind of complete and really is the, the state energy infrastructure that you see here reflects uh, public input and needs. The project will include three new interconnected transmission lines that run across the state of Minnesota. Not only will they help provide more power, they'll also help create clean energy. Rochester has some very aggressive greenhouse gas reduction goals related to its energy supply. And these transmission projects are critical for us to achieve those goals that we have outlined for the community. Right now, when the transmission grids get too overwhelmed, clean energy sources like solar and wind farms come to a halt. These new lines will be able to support renewable energy sources. There's also a more direct benefit to the public. This investment in transmission is that it'll unleash an incredible amount of good family sustaining job opportunities for our members and other uh, building trades construction members. A project of this size takes a lot of time. They say it will probably be around five to six years before people will actually be able to use the energy derived from the project. In Rochester, Maisie Olsen, ABC6 News.